On March 11, 2011, a devastating magnitude 9 earthquake struck off the coast of Tohoku, Japan, where the Pacific Plate dives beneath the Okhotsk Plate. Japan's earthquake early warning system contributed to reducing deaths and injuries by giving people closest to the epicenter 10 seconds to take protective action before shaking began, and Tokyo, 320 kilometers away, had 60 seconds. Strong shaking lasted several minutes. A tsunami caused by the earthquake not only inundated low-lying areas of Japan, but also propagated across the Pacific Ocean, striking the West Coast 10 hours later with a wave surge that caused one fatality. On January 26, 1700, the West Coast of the United States experienced a similar tsunami-generating megathrust earthquake. It struck along the Cascadia subduction zone, where the oceanic Juan de Fuca plate dives beneath the North American plate. Because the Cascadia earthquake happened before written records were kept in the region, Native American oral histories help us understand what happened. Their stories include descriptions of how the ground shook violently and huge ocean waves swept away villages in the night, lifting canoes high into the trees. This tsunami was so large, it traveled across the Pacific Ocean, hitting the shores of Japan, driving villagers to high ground, killing two. An earthquake like this will strike the Cascadia subduction zone again, impacting the entire west coast. People further inland will feel it too, especially in the Puget and Willamette lowlands. Such an earthquake could shake for as long and hard as the Tohoku-Oki earthquake. Residents of California, Oregon, and Washington now have an earthquake early warning tool, the ShakeAlert system, operated by the United States Geological Survey. ShakeAlert is not earthquake prediction. When an earthquake occurs, seismic waves carry energy in all directions away from the epicenter. Sensors detect the first seismic wave, the P wave, and send that information to a ShakeAlert processing center. The USGS rapidly calculates an estimated location and magnitude and forecasts shaking in the surrounding area all within seconds. The goal is to deliver a shake alert powered notification to people before the damaging S waves and surface waves arrive. Alerts are delivered by public broadcasting systems, FEMA's wireless emergency alert system, the source of AMBER alerts, and other technologies that push notifications to mobile devices like smartphones and trigger automated protective responses. When you receive an alert, you should take protective action like drop, cover, and hold on immediately. Do not wait for shaking to arrive. Shake alert can save lives and reduce injuries. If you are near the coast in a tsunami-prone region, get to high ground after the shaking stops. Knowledge of your surroundings and practicing what to do can save your life.